Angel Gabriel comes down to Prophet Muhammad to reveal the first verses of the Holy Quran. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would walk, he would hear rocks and stones greet him. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would also see pleasant dreams, which would prove to become true when he awoke. Prophet Muhammad had the habit of secluding himself in a cave called Hira because he felt something was missing in his life and he didn't know what it was. Even though he had a good wife and children, a good life, and good status in society, he felt something was missing. He knew having these things alone does not bring happiness. He would go to Cave Hira to contemplate about life, this universe, and this world. He would meditate, ponder, reflect deeply, and wonder how to worship Allah. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was 40 years old, during the month of Ramadan, Angel Gabriel startled Prophet Muhammad in the cave and demanded that he reads, even though he did not know how to read or write. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied, I do not know how to read. And Angel Gabriel squeezed Prophet Muhammad so tight it caused him to lose all his energy. Angel Gabriel repeated the request two more times in which Prophet Muhammad had the same response. Angel Gabriel grasped Prophet Muhammad with overwhelming force then released him again. Then the first recitation of the Holy Qur'an was revealed to Prophet Muhammad via Angel Gabriel. Recite in the name of your Lord who created, created man from a clinging substance. Recite in your Lord is the most generous, who taught by the pen, taught man that which he knew not. Qur'an 96, 1 to 5. It was the beginning of Allah, the glorious first revelation sent via the angel Gabriel to humanity, meant until the end of times. Prophet Muhammad hurried home to his supportive wife in fear and asked her to cover him. She quickly covered him with a cloak. When Prophet Muhammad calmed a bit, he told her what happened and that he was scared. She replied, comforting her husband with the following statement, God will never humiliate you as you are good to your family. You take on other people's burden and help the needy. Then Khadija takes Prophet Muhammad to her cousin Waraka, a biblical scholar at the time, and told him what had happened. He then realized that Prophet Muhammad is the awaited prophet in which the gospel prophesied, and concluded that the one that visited Prophet Muhammad was indeed Angel Gabriel. Prophet Muhammad continued to receive revelations for the remainder of his life. These revelations were memorized and written down by the Prophet's companions and were later compiled to make up the Holy Qur'an which we have today.